hola guys welcome back to this amazing channel if you're new here my name is mural or you can call me mama lindiwe so on this channel we do a lot of diy hair care videos using simple and available ingredients from your kitchen we also do protective hairstyles for the kids so if this is the kind of content you love please consider subscribing so on today's video we're going to look at ginger and cloves oil which is really good for your hair i've tried it with my daughter's hair and i'm telling you her hair has been flourishing ever since i started using natural remedies on her hair especially this particular treatment so what we are going to need is cloves cloves contains a lot of rich essential minerals and nutrients like iron potassium calcium and vitamin a and also vitamin c we are going to need ginger and ginger has been used for so many years to grow hair and also treat scalp irritation and our next ingredient is going to be coconut oil so these are the only ingredients we are going to need i'm going to need my stockings for you know the sieving part i'm going to need my you know a jar make sure your jar is very very clean and then i'm going to need my measuring cup because i'm going to measure the ingredients that i'm going to use on this particular video so that you guys if you really want if you want to try this treatment you're able to know the amount of you know the ingredients to use so as part of our series to grow hair using natural ingredients i'd like to introduce to you ginger ginger is so good to your hair because it contains a lot of minerals that are known to be essential for hair and also to our body and we're going to learn how to incorporate this ingredient into our hair regime so what you're going to do we are going to cut our ginger into small pieces so that is what i'm just doing right now i'm cutting the ginger into pieces because Later on, I'm going to blend them, so I need them to be in a bit, you know, smaller pieces for easy blending. So let's dive in into the importance, the benefits of using ginger in your hair. This treatment has been used for so many years to grow longer hair and to stop scalp irritation. So the number one importance is that it prevents hair fall because ginger contains fatty acids, vitamins and minerals that strengthen the hair strands and stops hair shedding. So if you are dealing with hair thinning, ginger is your remedy. That is the number one importance of using ginger. And number two is that it promotes hair growth because it contains powerful vitamins and nutrients that promote hair growth. And the fact that it has anti-inflammatory and antiseptic properties, it makes it a great ingredient for maintaining a healthy scalp. So what I'm going to do next after chopping the ginger, I'm going to transfer it into a bowl, a small bowl. And make sure your ginger is very clean. Make sure you wash it thoroughly before chopping them. You do not want that into your hair again. So you can see the size of the ginger. This is how my size was looking like after chopping them. Just make sure they're not too big or too small. And if your blender is powerful, then, you know, go ahead and cut them into big pieces. So our next ingredient is cloves and if you're looking to find a solution to hair loss, hair thinning or whatever issues or you want to improve the thickness and the strength of your hair, then consider using cloves because cloves is good. It contains a lot of minerals, nutrients like iron, potassium, calcium, the vitamin A and C's. So it's good to your hair. I'm just trying to show you guys that my blender is not dirty. I've been using it to blend the cloves. So this is what happened to it. This is how it looks like. I've tried washing it. It's not coming out, but it's clean. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to take my um, cloves and I'm going to measure a third cup of cloves and place it into my blender. 
cloves here is widely known for its ability to fight viruses, bacteria, fungi. It is also it also reduces inflammation and you know the leading contributors to thin hair and bald spot is usually inflammation and scalp infections. So on the next one we're going to measure our ginger and I'm going to take a quarter a cup of ginger and I'm going to transfer it into the blender also. So next on, I'm going to add the coconut oil into the jar also. I actually did not measure the amount of coconut oil I used. The amount that was in the jar was too little, so I just scooped out some. So this is how it was looking like. This is how it's looking like, and I'm going to cover it tightly. Next on, I'm going to blend it. Make sure you blend the mixture until the mixture is fine. This treatment is supposed to be used at least thrice a week. Thrice a week. This is how it was looking like after blending it. You guys can see how it's looking like. And then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to get my pot and I'm going to transfer the mixture into the pot. So these two ingredients are the most important ingredients and most powerful ingredients you can use on your hair, be it relaxed or natural. Try and be consistent on using this treatment and you're going to see your hair flourishing. You're going to have fuller hair. You're going to have, your strands are going to be stronger. They're not going to be, you know, damaging every now and then. And another beauty with this treatment is that your hair is going to grow at a rapid rate. So what I did next, I just took my mixture and I placed it on my cooker. And I'm going to heat this mixture at a very low heat, very, very low heat. And keep stirring the mixture. Keep mixing it up. Don't leave it for even one second because it's going to burn. Keep stirring the mixture until it is dark brown. Not black, dark brown. So just keep stirring the mixture at least for 10 minutes. 10 minutes is good. Or when you see your mixture starting to, you know, when it gets to dark brown, just stop hitting it. So this is how mine was looking like after I was done hitting. And if you look at it closely, it is dark brown, not black. Make sure your mixture doesn't burn. So next one, I'm going to transfer the 
the mixture into a small bowl and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to this channel because if you have watched this content up to this point it means you're a lover of your hair you're a lover of such content so just consider subscribing and put on your notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you'll be notified i put up videos at least thrice or twice a week i'm going to you know try my best to throw in at least two videos a week so please consider subscribing and put on the notification bell and you'll be notified so i'm just transferring the mixture into my bowl as you can see i'm not leaving anything behind no oil i do not even want to waste even anything this is how it is looking like Next one, I'm just going to take my stockings. I usually use stockings to sieve these mixtures and these treatments. Later on, I'm going to transfer to this jar. I know it's going to be enough because the amount of ingredient is what I usually use. So I know it's going to fit in this small jar, which is going to last me a week or even so. So next one, I'm just going to be using my hands to squeeze out the oil. You can see I'm just trying to squeeze out the oil. Try squeezing it, squeezing it out. You guys can see the color of the oil. It looks really, really good. So this mixture, this treatment is good because it is going to promote hair growth. It is going to prevent hair fall. It is going to combat any scalp irritation. It is going to encourage circulation to the scalp because of ginger. And you're not going to experience any issues in terms of hair thinning. You know, those issues with the scalp, you're not going to experience any of those especially because of ginger it has anti-inflammatory and anti-inflammation properties in it so this is how our oil is looking like you guys can see and this is enough for me for at least this week it is enough i'm just gonna transfer it into my small jar and i'm going to put this oil into the fridge for just a few minutes at least you guys can see how it looks like this is good treatment for your scalp. This is good treatment for your for any skin irritation. So I put my mixture into the fridge and this is how it looks like. This oil is going to be easy to penetrate into the scalp also. So try making these oils, try using natural remedies on your hair. And come and tell me how they worked for you. I know they're going to do magic on your hair. You can also follow me on Instagram. If you need to DM me on any questions, I will gladly answer them. And for those who have subscribed, thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. Adios.